Hey what's up guys welcome back to another tips and tricks video. In this, I will explain you how to win every close range fight. Here are some clear tactics to improve your close range. Number 1. Using Claw Method. Using Claw Control will greatly improve close combat fights. Most of the players are already using it now. So, remember to try Claw Setting. Number 2. In close range, there's one important tactic that's often overlooked. Using covers. This simple trick will save you almost 90% of the time. In close combats, enemy has already spotted you, so there's no escaping, running unless you are flash. Stay behind the covers like rock, tree, building fence wall, or and observe the enemy movements, only sound, not the footsteps on map. Wait for him to make a move and shoot. Even if he rushes on you, you can keep circling around the cover and wait for the enemy to finish shooting his bullets. Once he's out, that's when you attack. In these kind of situations we lose our cool and go all panic on enemies. But the key here is to stay cool and wait for the enemy to approach. Number 3. If you are getting pushed and you are inside a building and if they get inside, immediately jump outside. Confuse them with mind by running toward. After if you get a good and distance dot knock and finish them. Number 4. In close range make sure that you are not hiding in corner. Don't make this mistake if you hide in corner it is highest chances to enemy to win close comb. So, make sure that you're not hiding in corner. Number 5. Close combat kills largely depend on your reflex time along with accuracy. In case you're in cover and you see someone rushing towards you then you have the advantage of making the first shots which is really important. The person who fires first accurately ends up alive often. In case you know where someone is hiding and you push towards him always go and making a profile to make sure you hit him before he hits you. And another important thing in close combat is that you have to keep moving while firing so as to make at least a few shots from your opponent to miss. To get better at close combat and improve reflexes it is better to play Sandhawk and land at either boot camp or paradise and push your way through clearing all enemies. Number 6. Grenades you will see me including and focusing on this point very often. That is because it is valuable and makes everything really simple. In close range 2, close 1 seconds cook nades, pre-nading are some skills that I really recommend you to use. These makes easy for you when you are in tough situations. Like 1 vs 4 situations or you are low on HP and don't have healings. In these kinds of situations you can't afford to give even 1 centimeter of your body part to your enemies. A good nade will get you a knock if not multiple. In the worst case scenario it will give damage to your opponents for sure. Either way it is your advantage. Just know how and when to nade in close combats. If you still don't believe me go to YouTube and search some Chinese bros. Why Chinese? Because they alongside Southeast Asia C teams dominate pub mobile scenario for now. You will notice how they use grenades in various situations to get knocks. And then easily wipes out squad after squad. Number 7. You shouldn't aim in close combat and use hip fire instead, usually it's about position, accuracy and speed as I repeat. A submachine will almost always outperform a assault rifle when you are hip firing. So position, where you are when you are attacked. Usually you'd be right in front of your enemy, this is not good because they need minimal effort to shoot you. So instead you don't want to stay inside their crosshair but instead, move sideways. However you shouldn't move sideways only, you can zigzag your moving pattern and then evade more shots. And if you are pro at accuracy which I'll explain later, you can circle your enemy, just stay out of their front vision, that way you'll have an advantage when the enemy is inside your front vision but you aren't inside their front vision, this is circling. And when your enemy does this, usually it's the circle, you'll both be confused if you also do the circle and thus both of you will end up outside of each other's front vision. A quick way to get out of this situation is to walk backwards. If you can't see them then they'll be on your back or on your sides, if you turn your camera you'll get confused easily so you should walk backwards, then you can see all the signs and you should combine this with turning around, when you do it correctly you should be faster than your opponent and finding each other and shooting them. 
accuracy, where you point your crosshair and how often you hit your target. Do not aim, in close range fight, both of you is almost 0.5 meters apart only, aiming will make less of accurate shooting. You'll need RNG to help you in order to get better so I advise you to only use hip fire unless you're using a shotgun. There's really no strategy on this so you'll have to practice it yourself. Try out different gun and training mode and see how the gun works, if it suits you then good for you. Or better yet, practice it in team deathmatch, you get better in that mode you get better in all of your mid range to close range fights. Try to predict where your opponent will move and follow them with your crosshair. I advise against you to use that because its hip fire is completely useless you can aim with it in under 5 meters range but much closer than that it's basically useless, try shooting while moving with it, the crosshair becomes almost as big as your entire screen. Speed, how fast you react and how fast you'll move. This is a player skill, you hold at this you'll have all the advantage. Your reflexes is very important. Most of the time you predict something and then do it accordingly but if things go wrong, you'll do things the hard way, if you don't have enough speed for this then most likely you'll die. This cannot be trained but you can get used to it so you should practice a team death match. And my best tip for any players of PUBG, if you want training in close to mid range combat just play team death match, it's your best training partner, although your team can get slightly toxic at times. Number 8. If you want to become a beast in close range battles in PUBG Mobile, then your main focus should be on getting headshots. In PUBG Mobile, a headshot deals the most amount of damage to a player. For this, you can try out various drills in the training room to make your aim more precise. After that, you can play more TDM warehouse matches and try to get as many headshots as possible. This sort of practice would help you in winning close combats in classic matches. Number 9. The step to becoming a good close range player is your crosser placement. If you can connect more shots than your enemy, you will have higher chances of winning that particular encounter. For this, you can try some drills in the training room where you can perfect your crosser placement. Always try to keep your crosser aimed at the enemy's head to connect more headshots as this will knock the opponent down or kill them easily. Number 10. Prefires in close range combat Most of the casual players often ignore the importance of prefires and every competitive player knows how important troll does it play in close combats. This is the trick that will ensure that you deal the damage first which gives you an advantage over your enemy. Number 11. Proper TPP This may sound stupid, and you may be like I am that noob. I thought so too and because of that I didn't really look into this matter. TPP just standing behind a cover and keeping an eye on your enemy. Simple duh. It's not sure you will be behind the cover but how will you peek effectively in that position? There is a massive difference in your and pros moments when coming out and shooting from a TPP. And it is a topic that is really focused upon so it is not that simple. Did you know that in competitive scenarios it is considered almost impossible to kill a player taking a TPP? There are counters but still. Number 12. Reflexes This will is a point where you can say that the faster you are the better off you are. Although working on your reflexes will not show immediate results but, once you have better reflexes than before it will be a plus on every skill you can think of. It is like the idle exercise which target every muscle in your body. You might have seen players like Paraboy, Scout, Jonathan with insane reflexes. Guess what they were not born with it. They developed it with time through playing several thousand times. But, there are still several ways to boost your reflexes. That will add up to your final game plan. Number 13. Seeing the biggest picture extremely important when you are up against multiple opponents on your own. Knowing on whom to target for your benefit, when to fire and even when to not fire at all. Remember most of the time in close combats your position is already compromised. If not, you can think about using some other utilities and at time this realizing the bigger picture and choosing the right can be very beneficial. Number 14. In close coma use crouch or prawn button to confuse the enemy and for better recoil also. So, make sure to confuse enemy with buttons. Number 15. 
close range is all about your speed and type off your guns and you have to train yourself to perform better in classic. Play TDM and training modes to better your skill. This will train you to become pro in main is to learn strategies to handle difficult situations. Number 16. Weapon selection This falls under common sense. If your enemy has a better gun and your aim levels are the same he will win. There are several factors that falls before weapon selection in PUBG Mobile. For this article, I must include that you should pick a weapon with a higher damage per second if you aim for close range combats. However, there are more factors than just damage per second. That is why I strongly recommend you to go through. Number 17. Your approach generally. There are many approaches that you can take to kill a single enemy. And you should take the safest one. But when it comes to taking down multiple enemies, they will lead you to 4 or 5 approaches depends on how they coordinate. You should take into account that when fighting multiple enemies there is no way in hell to win if 4 come simultaneously. So you have to think of an approach to divide them and take only 1 or 2 at a time. Here, bonus tips for you. Switching TPP to FPP is really matter. On your game plan. If you are switching to FPP while in close combat is useful to view full screen and easy to spot and shoot. That's why the pro players use FPP while in close combat. So, make sure that you are using FPP in close range fight. I think the tips will sure increase your ability to win close range. Then make sure that subscribe to Beast Club. And don't forget like the video. I am your beast. You are my clones. Thanks for watching.